Hello there everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to create and edit a complete little film from scratch. And I'm going to be doing that using iMovie running on my iPad, but it works equally as well on your iPhone. So let's start up iMovie. And as you can see, we don't have any projects, so let's go ahead and create one by clicking on this plus icon here. So that brings up the new project window and we're going to create a new movie. So here's all the media available to us at the moment on this device uh, and let's just scroll through and see what we've got. So we've got some shots of London here uh, and let's imagine we're going to create our project using these clips. So the first thing we need to do is select the clips that we want to use in the order we want them in the timeline. So let's say we want this one first, then we want this shot of Big Ben second, and we want the shot walking over the bridge last. So now let's create our movie. And iPad will now put all of those clips in order into the timeline. There you can see. If I just zoom out a little bit, you can see all three clips together. So what happens when you first create the movie is that iMovie itself will give you some default transitions. And in this case, they are dissolves. Uh, and you can see those here. Now, if you're happy with the dissolves, you can leave them. Uh, but sometimes it's easier to change them straight away to, to cuts, as it gives you a much better idea of, of what the film kind of looks like. So let's just change those to cuts. Let's go back to the beginning and let's just play our first clip and see what it looks like. So here we go, it's a shot of Trafalgar Square. It holds on the uh, pillar there for a little bit, it pans around to the left and then it holds on the, uh, the finishing point here. So let's say that we want the pan and not the, the, the parts of the clip where it holds either end. And we can do that very easily by trimming the clip. So let's bring the clip back to the beginning point. Let's zoom out a bit so we can see what we're doing. Scroll the timeline along. Okay, so let's come back to the beginning. And let's highlight the clip by clicking on it. And as you can see, that's brought up our edit handles. So what we'll do now is just touch one of the handles or the, the handle on the extreme left at the start of the clip and drag it until we get to the point where we want our media to start. So let's do that. It's, whoops, it's um, held it slightly too long and it's moved it. So let's press the back space to go back to where we were. Let's try that again. So highlight it, click on the handle and then just slowly scroll across so as you can see, it's playing the clip very slowly and there it starts to move. So let's just come back a bit. We can toggle between, that's the start. Now we do want a slight static shot at the beginning, so I think that's correct. Let's play that to confirm. So that starts fairly swiftly. And there it holds on the end. So we can do the exactly the same at the other end of the clip. So highlight it, pick up the handle and just drag it. Okay, the clip is now playing in reverse because we're going back in the timeline. Let's just play it forward, nice and slowly. We're panning round still. And there we've come to rest at the end point. So let's just watch that clip in its entirety to make sure it's correct. So there, we just have the pan, so that's working nicely. So now let's play it from the beginning and see what it looks like with the following clip of Big Ben. So here we go, let's play. Back into the Big Ben clip. And okay, that's running a bit too long for my liking. So 
let's just go back to the Clipper Trafalgar Square, play it again and see how much of the Big Ben clip we want. I think one, two, three, four, and stop there. I think that's as much as of Big Ben as we want. Now, another method we could use for shortening a clip, particularly if it's a static clip like this that doesn't do any pans or, or anything that we want to keep, is we can just highlight it, we can split it, and as you can see, it split the clip and highlighted everything to the right, and now we can just delete that. So we now have our shot of Trafalgar Square, shot of Big Ben, and that's only three or four seconds long. So let's just confirm that. And again, we don't want this shot running for too long, so let's let it run. Okay, that's probably about enough there. And let's click on it and just drag it back. So let's watch our little film from its beginning and see what it looks like. Okay, that's not looking too bad. So what we can do now is we can add some music. So let's come up to our settings icon, click there, and let's just activate the theme music. Now we get a standard piece of music that comes with iMovie and there's a piece of music for every theme. And as you can see, there are several different themes. But because we're using the simple theme at the moment, that's the music we're getting. If we want to change the music, we change the theme. So let's just listen to what the simple music sounds like. So let's remove that and play. And now the first thing I can hear is that the Atmos audio, and that's the audio associated with this clip of Trafalgar Square is much too loud for us to hear the music underneath it. So let's do something about that now. So if we click on this little sound wave icon to the right here, we can have a look at our audio waves. Let's click on the clip, come down the bottom here to volume, and let's just slide the slider. And as you can see the actual, uh, I'll just increase it so you can see it better. There's loud audio and it's getting quieter there. So let's come down to about 30% and hear what that sounds like in sort of volume level in relation to the music track. And I think we can do the reverse to the music track. We can bring that up a bit as well. So again, let's come back, let's check our audio levels. Just to have a little bit more Atmos, I think. Just check it. And again, it's too loud on this shot, so let's just reduce that down to about uh, 35, I think we were at with the other one. And let's just check it. Still a bit loud, I would say. Let's bring that down a bit more. Check it. Better. So we're at 26% there. And let's finally do the last clip, bring that down to 26% as well. And check that. Okay, so that's working quite well. Let's click on the little sound icon. So now we can hear the music track a bit better. I'll just demonstrate that we can change the music. So let's click on our gear icon again, bring up the settings, 
and let's choose a different theme. So for instance, let's choose modern. And as you can see, the, the music track has changed to modern as well. So let's bring that back to the beginning and start that. Again, it's a little quiet, so let's raise the, see what we're doing with the audio. Let's raise that up a bit, play it. So there we go. I think that track works slightly better, although um, the, the keyword there is slightly. We're very limited to the choice of tracks that we can use if we uh, stick to the theme music. You can, of course, add your own music uh, from your iTunes library. Uh, but for the sake of this uh, demonstration, uh, I'm going to just stick to the, uh, to the themes uh, and, and the music that they contain. So, so let's just watch our film from the beginning uh, and uh, see how it sits with the entire music track. Okay, so that's where the film ends. Um, in my opinion, it ends rather abruptly, but fortunately there is something we can do about that. So let's go to the themes settings again. And let's fade out to black. And what, if you look very carefully, you can see in the timeline that a little kind of uh, faded black square has appeared in the top right hand corner. So let's click out of that. And let's play that and see what that looks like. So you can see that's much smoother. The video fades to black and the audio fades out with it as well. Much more professional looking. And we can do a very similar thing at the front of our film as well. So if, you, if we just watch it from the very beginning, we're straight in, music starts straight away. And again, let's come up to our settings icon, fade in from black, and again we see the same little black square icon appear, and let's just see what that looks like. So again, another nice fade in from black, looks far more professional. I think the music just fades in naturally anyway, so it all looks much, much more professional. So there you go. That's how you create and edit a very basic little film in iMovie. So now let's assume that I've exported that and let's watch the finished film as a complete file. So if you have any questions, please leave a comment. But in the meantime, thank you very much for watching. Please like and share and check out some of my other films.